In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while. Let's call to mind all our sins and all our failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Know this, my dear brothers and sisters. Everyone should be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filth and evil excess, and humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. But the one who fears into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres, and is not a hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts. Such as a one, such a one, shall be blessed in what he, do, he does. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, his religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart, and is slanders not with his tongue. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? who harms not his fellow men, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things, he shall, shall never be. Disturbed. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Please stand. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Narinig na natin siguro marami sa atin kung hindi lahat tayo narinig na natin itong gospel at least itong kwento ng gospel na si Jesus ay nagpagaling ng mga bulag, pinakita, binigyan ng kakayanan, makakita ulit yung mga bulag. So, walang masyadong uh, Later na lang siguro natin yan pag-uusapan para mas interesting at as for me today na pag-usapan yung yung sa mga yung reading sa first reading kay kay letter ni St. James talks about the power kapangyarihan ng salita the power of word salita hindi lang yung written word hindi lang yung spoken word but also the written word siguro kahit yung sign language no but the word itself salita ay napaka makapangyarihan napaka makapangyarihan in fact the very first set of words that were uttered were for the creation of the world di ba sabi ng panginoon let there be light yung unang-unang salitang narinig dumagundong sa buong creation let there be light and then he started creating the universe yun ang unang-unang salita na narinig na, na narinig ng kahit sino man Siguro wala pang nakarinig at that time kasi wala pang nilalang siya lang. But that word, let there be light. Apat na words lang yun. Nagkaroon ng liwanag hanggang ngayon. Nandito pa rin yung liwanag. From, the light, from that light, sinundan ng iba't iba pang mga creations. Si mundo, hayop, tao, bundok, mga lahat ng makikita natin dito sa mundo. The power of the word. God, who is goodness, used that word for creation, to make something beautiful, na mag-create ng buhay mula sa kawalan. That's how powerful the word is, at least the way that God used it. Pero ngayon, powerful pa rin. Kasi once na sinabi mo yung salita, once na sinulat mo yung salita, It gains, sabi nga sa hermeneutics, it gains a life of its own. Pag may sinabi ka sa kapitbahay mo, sa kapatid mo, kung sino man, nasabi mo na yun. It gets a life of its own. Pag may sinulat ka, maganda man o hindi, it gets a life of its own. Darating na ako, lalo na sa social media na ngayon, ako po. Di ba? Ang, ang bilis kumalat ng mga sinasabi natin, either by, by writing the text, or by speaking, di ba? Meron ng video, no? Pero na, pwede na i-video kung anong sinasabi mo. Kung, ngayon tayo, that's a live streaming. So the word that I say is out there. It gets a life of its own. Hindi ko na pwedeng higupin ulit yung mga salitang binet, binibitawan natin, no? Pag inilabas mo yan, nandyan na yan sa labas. It gets a life of its own. So depende na yan sa mga nakikinig sa iyo kung paano i-interpret kung anong gagawin niya doon sa mga salitang narinig niya. Diba? Kaya nga napaka, napaka powerful. At lalo-lalo na pag inisip natin ng social media, nako, it's so unimaginable. Hindi natin ma-imagine ang gagano kala, kalayo ang mararating ng ating mga sinabi, paano siya i-interpret, ano ang gagawin, ano ang reaction ng mga tao sa mga sasabihin natin. We, cannot, we can never totally 
absolutely imagine. Mabuti pa siguro dun sa thing called messenger, no? pwedeng i-unsend. Pwedeng mag-unsend ng message. But in other places, in other uh, platforms, wala na. Lalo na kung video, audio, visual. Pag video, no? Pag sinabi mo, nandiyan na yan sa labas. Bawiin mo man, eh, baka mayroon nang maka- nakapanood dyan, nakapag-download dyan. It gets a life of its own. And that is why that power has been given to us. At katulad ng maraming powers natin, it all depends on our choice. Lahat nakasalalay kung paano natin gagamitin, anong pipiliin natin sa paggamit. Choice natin kung paano gagamitin yung word na yan. Yung word na yan magbula sa atin, pwede siya maging good news. Magbibigay ng mabuting balita, magsasabi ng magaganda, o pwede rin siya magbigay ng bad news. Yung hindi maganda. Like anything else. No? Katulad ng maraming bagay, pwedeng gamitin sa tama, pwedeng gamitin sa mali. Ganun din ang mga salita. Ganun din ang words. Merong good news, may bad news. May true news, real news. Merong fake news. Pwede magamit ang words to build, Pwede rin mag-destroy. Pwede rin mag-heal, magpagaling, mag-ayos. Pwede rin mag-hurt, manakit. Pwede rin mag-bless. Pwede rin mag-curse. Pwede rin mag-console. Pwede rin mag-condemn. Pwede rin mag-turo. Pwede rin mag-corrupt. Either or. It's all up to us. It's our choice. Words can express love and joy, happiness and hope, trust and faith. Or they can also express anger and bitterness, hatred and resentment, sarcasm and cynicism, distrust. Pwede rin siyang ma-express ng mabuti, o oh, hindi mabuti. Kaya sabi ni St. James sa first reading, be slow to speak. Slow to, lalo na, slow to anger. Dahan-dahan. Huwag pa dalos-dalos ang pananalita, lalo na kung galit. Lalo na kung galit. Kasi baka makasakit ka ng damdamin, hindi mo na mabawi, lalo na kung mali ang basihan ng iyong sinasabi. Be slow to anger. Kaya nga, be slow din in Lalo na ngayon, sa, sabi nga natin, no, pinimpisa na natin regarding social media, no, it's accessible to anyone. Kahit sino na ngayon, pwede na mag-access. Basta, basta meron ka lang uh, gadget, no? meron kang phone, meron kang tablet, meron kang computer, at meron kang wifi, pwede ka na mag-social media. Pwede ka na rin gamitin ang salita dyan sa social media either to preach good news or to plant bad news, to destroy reputations which can become irreparable, which spreads like wildfire. Napaka, ano pa naman natin, napaka uh, hihilig pa naman natin makinig sa mga hindi magagandang balita. Ano? Tignan ninyo, yung magandang balita, tagal kumilis dyan, may katagalan. Pero pag hindi masyado maganda balita, pero pag tungkol sa kabulukan. Nako! Parang wildfire. Bad news. Pero remember, sa sabi si St. James, ay importante din regarding how we live our religion. Sabi niya, religion that is pure and undefiled is to care for the orphans and the widows in their affliction. Ang ating pananampalatay, ang ating religion ay hindi lamang para sa pagdasal sa simbahan. Mabuti yun. Walang masama doon. Pero hindi lamang nakakulong sa walls ng simbahan ang ating religion. Ang religion, ang tunay at puro na religion ay yung religion na naka-apekt ng buhay ng iba in a good way. Yung nag-aalaga nga daw sa mga orphans and widows. Yung mga nag-aalaga sa mga taong walang nag-aalaga sa kanila. A pure religion cares for others. A pure religion looks out for the welfare of others. And in doing so, we live the Word. So, hindi lang yan natin napakinggan, 
isinasabuhay din natin by actually caring for those who need it. We don't only listen to the Word, we live the Word. Eh siguro pwede nating dasalin ngayon sa ating Panginoon, no? Lord, katulad ng pagpapagaling mo sa bulag dito sa Gospel, pagaling mo din ang ating aming kabulagan. Heal our blindness. Because sometimes, we do not see the effect of our words on others. Help us to speak or write only those things that would teach, that would give life, that would make people happier, that would uplift the lives of people. Help us to live according to your word. Let us all stand now. We ask God, the Father, to open our eyes so that we may follow him wholeheartedly. And after each petition, we say, Father, fill us with your light. Father, fill us with your light, that the church may grow in her effort to bring light to those who are experiencing darkness in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your light. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, and unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your love. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your light. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's loving presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your light. That our deceased relatives and friends may find a perpetual and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your light. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Father, fill us with your light. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness to have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, <coughs> with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, 
and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the, all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is, it is in, heaven. in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. 
Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.